Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. They didn't pray that this opposition, these threats would be removed or finished. They didn't ask that those that were threatening them would change their mind. They believers, they pray that God would enable them to speak the word of God. Is that all it says? No. They ask God to enable them to speak the word of God with boldness. Boldness. What is boldness? That means that God, they were asking God to enable them to speak about the word of God with confidence and with power of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I want you to notice this. The believers, they knew that when Jesus was teaching and preaching, that was the beginning of the opposition. And as Jesus continued to preach and teach the way he did, he ended up being crucified. These believers also knew that the healing of a crippled beggar in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ led to the arrest and the threats against John and Peter. My brothers, my sisters, they prayed for boldness to speak the word of God. They prayed for God's empowerment to preach Jesus and his resurrection, knowing that it would lead to more hostility. And as we know, the complete history of the book of Acts. It ultimately led to persecution. And we don't know the number of Christian believers that died. As we read this passage of the scripture, we read that immediately God responded. And God responded through the presence of the Holy Spirit. And that is the second important step in staying together. The presence, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. I want to emphasize that the Holy Spirit enables all the believers. Not just the disciples, not only the apostles. All the believers. Also, as a consequence of this empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we understand that all the believers spoke the word of God boldly. Not just the apostles. 